Yep, these are them. Signs of some of our beloved movie characters here on the lawns of Milton. And the man responsible? Counselor Rick DiLorenzo. DiLorenzo normally does an annual haunted house fundraiser for the Milton District Hospital Foundation, but because of the pandemic, he had to postpone it for a second year. He says he still wanted to do something for the hospital and other local charities. Especially because of COVID-19, uh, um, all the donations to Milton Hospital and other charities are down about 10 15 percent because a lot of the fundraisers are in-person galas and, and, and people were people close together. So um, I saw online the internet some really fun election parody signs people were doing in the United States and you know in, in other areas. Um, I said, hey, that would be a lot of fun, but let's take it a step forward. Let's make four of them and represent four hypothetical political parties and make a little bit of fun. The so-called candidates to choose from were Harry Potter from the book and movie series of the same name. Then you've got Darth Vader, Mon Mothma, and Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars. DiLorenzo talks about why each name was chosen for their specific political stripe. The green is very magical. Let's make magic happen for Canada. Um, the, the, the dark blue black one is a little bit more authoritarian. You know, together we can rule the galaxy. A little more power and oomph there. Uh, the red one is we'll look after you. We know better so you don't have to. You know, a little bit of a big brother, you know, we'll take care of you vibe. And the orange one is, you know, seriously, it's not a trap. You know, if they get elected, they'll do a good job. It's not a trap. They're a serious party and they deserve a shot at power. And if you can't convince, confuse. So each one is poking fun at a particular party, and I'll leave it up to you to guess what party that is, hopefully in a respectful, nonpartisan manner. Milton resident David O'Connell has already got his hands on one of these signs. He says it's one of the most creative fundraisers he's seen so far. Obviously, anytime we get to uh, fundraise for the community is always a benefit to everybody in the community, but uh, it was a topical and, and fun thing to do being the climate that it is today to, uh, you know, get a little uh, excitement out there and, and fun. And, you know, got the kids even asking questions about the election. So that was fun. Why, why did you choose the Harry Potter? Well, we've got to represent Gryffindor. You know, we're 0 for 5. So I think it's time that uh, we get out there and, uh, and represent. So how do you get your hands on one of these signs? It's simple. Make a donation here on the Milton District Hospital Foundation's website. Click on Tribute and type in DiLorenzo's full name. Then head over to his Facebook page and message him the sign you want. Having said that, though, DiLorenzo does say he's only got Darth Vader and Harry Potter left. I only have about 20 signs left. I, I made 100. And so far we've raised a little over $1,000 to $500. It's shown people like to have fun. And you pair that with donating to local charities, helping your community. You put those two together, it makes everyone feel better.